Dr. Emrich here, and today I want to talk about Facebook and the different functions that are in Facebook. It can be very confusing learning the difference between what a profile is in Facebook, perhaps a business page in Facebook, or a group, a Facebook group. So I want to talk about the difference and then show you how you can easily set these up within Facebook. So the first thing and the question I get a lot is you have to have, everybody has to have a Facebook personal profile. That's why it's at the top here before they can have anything else in Facebook. So you do need to create your own personal profile. That's the very first thing you need to do. It's really easy to do. You can just go to facebook.com and put in your email address and you will get your Facebook profile. And that's what you have to have. And now Facebook profiles are really handy. That's really the social engagement that you get from Facebook. You can connect with your friends, you get friend requests, and you can see what other people are doing and you can read their posts and you can post things within your own personal profile. But if you're a business, you wanna take it a couple steps further than that. And the first thing you wanna do is create what's called a Facebook business page. And a Facebook business page, right, it's for businesses and it's really easy to set up. And I will take you into Facebook and show you how to do that. Here's the link right here. And I will put this slide in the comment section so you can go directly to um, this slide and these links um, at your um, leisure as well. So a Facebook business page then is you're gonna set that up for a business and you don't get friend requests like you do on a profile. You make connections through people liking what you're posting and what you're talking about on your business page. So the nice thing about Facebook business pages that's also different than a profile is that you get access to what are called insights on Facebook. And insights on Facebook are really analytical tools or measurement tools to find out if people are engaging or liking the content that you're talking about on your business page. So those insights are really nice to have and it's not something you're gonna get from your personal profile. So if you have a business you do want to also set up your business Facebook page to get those insights. And also it's a great way to start advertising your business. You can run contests, you can do surveys, you can do a lot of branding on your business page that you can't do as easily on your personal profile. But you do have to get that personal profile first. You don't have to even keep your personal profile updated. If you don't want to engage personally on Facebook, you don't have to keep it updated, but you do have to create one before you can create your business Facebook page. The other thing that Facebook offers is what's called a Facebook group. And a Facebook group is different than a business page. So I wanna say that first because a lot of people think they're the same or you can use them for similar things and they're not the same. They're just as easily, easy to set up, but they're different. So a Facebook group is for a group of individuals. So your business page is for your business where a group is set up for a group of individuals who have something in common. And maybe that thing that they have in common is something that has to do with your business. Like maybe it has to do with dogs or maybe it has to do with social media marketing. You wanna develop a group of individuals, like-minded individuals. And how people join that group, it's not by liking, it's not by friend requesting, but they actually have to connect and ask to join your group. So you'll see a join button on a Facebook group. And you can either have free access to join your group or you can have people um, say join and then as the group owner, you can go and accept the people who have um, asked to join your group. You don't get insights on a group like you do on your Facebook business page, um, but you do get the opportunity to possibly interact and collaborate with your potential customers because you're talking about something that you have in common, some like-minded um, activity or hobby that can potentially one day direct them back to your business. And what Facebook groups also enable you to do is collect emails and send emails to members, and you can't do that on your Facebook business page either. So you wanna start with that profile for sure, and then a business page so that you can get those insights and you can advertise to your customers and you can post videos. And then you wanna think about maybe I also wanna have a Facebook group. And that would be after you can think of that topic and how you wanna develop that group and how do you wanna to talk to your audience. <clears throat> so there's three different ways that you can engage with, with Facebook. And um, all of them are super important for any kind of social media marketing that you might be interested in doing. So one thing I wanna point out also is, and I have in here 
in the middle I have posts and videos. And I want to point out that in your Facebook profile, in your Facebook business page, or in your Facebook group, you can make posts and or you can make videos, and they're free. And you can do that on any of these platforms. So that's great. It's free advertising or free marketing. The other thing, though, is um, you can do paid advertising as well on Facebook. And the reason I have that down like right here is because advertising on Facebook can only be done in your business page or even in your Facebook profile. It can't be done on a Facebook group. So if you're going to pay for additional advertising, which means you want more and more people to see your product and service, you have to have a Facebook page and a Facebook profile. The group really won't help you with that. And Facebook has some great tools in order to put advertisements together so that you can run them on your business page and you can run them on your Facebook profile. So there's lots of free things you can do, and there's that paid advertising tool that Facebook offers as well. So let's go into Facebook, and I'll show you how easy it is to set these things up. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pull up my Facebook page. This is my um, Facebook page here. And when you are asked to create your profile, if you do not have a profile page first, it's going to ask you a lot of questions about um, putting these pictures in, your cover shot, which is the big picture in the back, your profile picture, which is right here. It's going to ask you your bio. And you want to fill in all of those questions as much as you can when you're putting your profiles together. It's called optimization. And it's really important to optimize your profiles as you're setting up these accounts because they'll look better and they'll look more professional as you start to grow your audience and as you build and create pages and or groups. So. <clears throat> This is the, what a page will look like, and I'm sorry, a profile will look like. And if you want to create a page, what you're going to do is up here in this little arrow right here in that blue area right here, you're going to click that down arrow. And it's going to say, mine says manage pages because I already have some pages. But if you don't have any pages, it's just going to say pages, and you just click on it. And then you're going to see a link right here with a plus sign, and it says create a page. And that is how easy it is to create a page. Um, you just press the create a page, and then it's going to take you through a series of questions to create your page. And um, they're not a lot of questions, and they're really easy to answer. Um, the first question is, are you setting up a, a business page or a community page? Most of the time, it's going to be a business page, but perhaps you're setting one up for a city or a church or something like that. Um, and you can do that in the community or public fig figure um, Facebook pages as well. And then you, press, you just press get started. And it'll take you through the series of questions, naming your page and picking the category. And then your page will be set up. And when you go to that arrow and click on pages, you'll see access to your page right there. So you can see I have two pages. And I can click right on my page. And I want to go into it because I want to show you how a Facebook page looks different than a profile. And I want to show you um, why and how you can use these differences. So this is what the Facebook page looks like. It's for my, um, my classes, my social media education classes. And this whole area up here, that's different. You're not going to see that on a profile. So these are additional things you get for setting up a Facebook business page. And you will get um, an inbox so people can talk to you and send you messages. You can get some notifications. You can find out who is interacting with the things that you post. And then this insights tool, which is um, probably the best tool for um, Facebook, for having a Facebook page. And you can click on insights. And what they'll tell you is, Anytime anyone clicks on anything that you're posting or engages, comments, likes, shares in a Facebook page, and in a Facebook page only, you don't get this in a profile and you don't get this in a Facebook group. You only get this in a Facebook um, page. They're going to tell you who is interacting with your page. And that's really important because then you can see, well, what are people liking and what they're not liking? And if they're not liking a topic that you're posting, then you can um, find something else to post. And you can start tracking and really expanding on the things that your audience is engaging. And it's really neat that Facebook does this. It'll give you reach. So you can see um, I had a post that reached um, so many people. You can see who engaged with that particular post. And I change my pages every semester, depending on my class, usually. So um, that just tells you how easy it is to create these pages. <clears throat> so these insights are really important and free analytical tools to analyze if your marketing is working or not. So those are Facebook pages. And you can also see, I'm just going to go down this left-hand column, because you get a lot of new on your Facebook business page, a lot of new tools here. Um, 
And one of them right here is this, in this blue box, it's called promote. And this is where you can decide if you want to boost a post. So that means Facebook's going to go look for more people to advertise your product or service to. Um, you can promote a message. You can promote your page. Facebook offers all of these advertising techniques. Now, you have to pay for them, um, but they do make it easy to create these ad, ads and to promote your business. <clears throat> so if you go back to that arrow right here where we found pages, right under it, it's going to say groups. And you can click on groups. And this is where you would go to create a group. And once again, up here, there's this green box with the plus arrow. And you would just click Create Group. And it'll take you through a series of questions. And you answer them. And you will have your group as well. <clears throat> so they're very easy to create. I do want to show you, I'm in this. Um, I went to my arrow. I pressed on, I tapped on groups. And even if you don't want to create a group, I just want to show you that you can go under this Discover right here. And you can discover other people's groups. Because if you're going to be doing marketing on social media, you want to know what people are talking about. You want to listen and do research. So joining other people's groups is perhaps a really good way to do that. So I spend a lot of time right here with this Discover and this search box. And I'll type in different topics just to see if there's any groups that people have already formed on that particular topic. So you can see. <clears throat> Um, it says your groups right here. You can see that I'm part of, of different groups. I'm part of a women's networking group, and I'm part of an online digital entrepreneurs group. So there's different groups that I'm part of, and I can click on those, <clears throat> and I can see the conversation that's going on with that topic. So not only thinking about creating a group, but also just going online and discovering different groups that you might want to become part of so that you can get to know your customers and what they're talking about on social media. So that is the difference between a Facebook profile, which we all have to have in order to do anything else, and a Facebook business page and a Facebook group. So I hope that was helpful, and I hope you use that information to um, make optimize your Facebook as well. Thank you.